Look in Revelations 21, verse 3 and 5. With that, I heard a loud voice from the throne say, Look, the tent of God is with mankind, and he will reside with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them, and he will wipe out every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more. Neither will mourning, nor outcry, nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. And the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making all things new. Also, he says, Write for these words faithful and true. Also, I'm going to read Psalms 37, verse 29. The righteous will possess the earth, and they will live forever on it. Psalms 23 was written by David, who was a shepherd in his youth, and eventually became king of the ancient nation of, of Israel. I'm going to read 1 Samuel 17:34. Come on. David then said to Saul, Your servant became a shepherd of his father's flock, and a lion came also a bear, and each carried off a sheep from the flock. I went out after it and struck it down and rescued it from its mouth. When it rose up again, when it rose up against me, I grabbed it by its fur and struck it down and put it to death. Psalms 23 to 24. When highlighting God's protection, David switched from referring to God in the third person, he, to the second person, you. That subtle change emphasizes the intimate relationship David had with Jehovah. David knew that God cared for him and that he was aware of his personal trials. As a result, David feared no harm.